I had some symptoms, some pains and back, a bit of back pain and I just thought it was kind of like a sports injury, basically. I was a bit surprised to find out that I had cancer and then I was really surprised to find out that I had really advanced cancer and that my prospects of making it to the end of the year seemed pretty, seemed pretty dim. Chemotherapy made me really sick. I nearly didn't make it through my chemotherapy, but I kind of struggled through to the end. I was very unwell. And after all of that, all of the trouble and drama, my cancer came back really quickly. And at that point there, I thought I was done for. I just remember sitting across the desk from my oncologist who seemed much more upset about it than I was. I was kind of, I was, couldn't really hear what he was saying. And in and amongst that conversation, he said, well, given that chemotherapies, you know, didn't work for you before and it might work again, um, we've got to think about other things. There's a trial at St. Vincent's Hospital that I think you're eligible for, and let's see if we can get you onto that trial. Kevin was my husband. Kevin had prostate cancer when I met him in 2014, and he just saw the, the joy in life and in everything, which I, I think helped me become a better person. So um, I sh shared the rest of that journey with him until he passed away last year. My focus was on ensuring that he had the best outcome possible, but kept progressing and spreading through his body, moving on to chemotherapy, Obviously that ceased to start having positive effects as well. So we had to look at other options. We were introduced to lutetium and met Professor Louise Emmett. PSMA or prostate specific membrane antigen is a, a little receptor on the cancer cell surface that's expressed very strongly in more aggressive prostate cancer. The cool thing about that is this peptide that was developed in Germany binds very tight to this receptor and it's almost like an elevator and we can hook it onto a nuclear warhead like lutetium and instead of imaging the cell, imaging where the cancer is, we can kill the cancer cell. Here's a treatment that attacks your cancer, minimises the side effects and allows you to continue on with your life and have a good quality of life. And obviously for me personally that's great, but for the people around me that's also pretty fantastic. The gift of extra time is, you, know, you, you cannot put a value on it. it. It's just incalculable. And I think the fact that Lutetian was able to give us that little bit more time together with a quality of life was just so important to us. Patients who get Lutetian PSMA, if you ask them how they compare that to chemotherapy, they just feel better. For me, the difference between chemotherapy and Lutetian was astonishing. Within six months I've had a couple of rounds of this treatment and I'm back to being relatively healthy and it saved my life and three years later I'm still here. November's been amazing funding the trials to get the evidence to funding the advocacy and helping us with advocacy. Without the support of Movember Kevin and I would have had less time together, less quality of life together. So having it more widely available uh, for all men means that all men get it when they need it and at the stage of the journey in their prostate cancer when it's going to really help them. That's a big win uh, compared to trying to get access just through trials. I know that it will inevitably come back and I'll have another go at trying to knock me off, but I also know that Lutetium's there, and when that happens, then there's a therapy. So I feel really lucky that that... I'm a bit teary about it, because it's just... Um, there's a treatment that works. <laughs>